Education and Access. So we had looked at the significance of mind management and this path of mind management is very tricky. Initially, it is not possible for us to close our eyes and manage the mind. We need some other way. And therefore, masters have devised many different ways in which this can be made possible. One of the most powerful yet relatively simple method is by the application of Karma Yoga Seva. Now, what does this actually entail and what does it mean? This is something we need to really ponder upon. Many of us just are asked to do something. We do it and we say, okay, I have done my karma yoga. I have done my seva. But what is the philosophy? What is the principle that we have to apply so that actual karma yoga starts happening? And what is the role of karma yoga in managing the mind? This is something which we need to understand. Paramahansji, Swami Satyananji once mentioned that the same mind with which you fight within, trying to go deeper and deeper within, is the one which does all the work outside. If you can train the mind outside, then you do not have to force and go inside. The same mind which was resisting you going inside will, once trained outside, spontaneously turn inwards and take you deep within. This is very, very important. I am not doing karma yoga. I am not doing seva to help others. No. I am doing it because I do not have any way to connect with my mind. And whenever I try to use the yoga practices, close my eyes and try and go within, my mind bombards me with thoughts and then the mind distracts me and leads me astray. So what can I do? This is where Karma Yoga and the philosophy of Karma Yoga comes in. When we do something outside, but we do it with a different awareness. With the awareness that we are harnessing the mind and we are slowly and slowly befriending the mind and training the mind. That is the motive with which we have to do this. But in the same manner as I want beautiful mangoes. So therefore, I bring the seed. I sow it in. And then every day, if I keep pulling it out to see, has it germinated? Will it ever germinate? It will not. What do I have to do? It is in. I let it be. 
and keep on watering let it be i have to i have this motive in mind i wanted mangoes that was my motive so i brought the seed i have sown it in the soil i have started doing karma yoga when i do karma yoga then i don't have to continuously think oh i am doing doing karma yoga because i want to manage the mind no that is not going to help us it is going to create even more difficulties for us we put it aside and what do we do we plunge ourselves fully into the practice of karma yoga and what do we have to do fast quick correct accurate whatever we are doing apply these four principles it has to be fast it has to be quick it has to be correct it has to be accurate every word has a slight shade of different meaning in it and this we have to do with full perfection after doing this we do it and walk away i don't expect anything in return if somebody praises me okay if somebody insults me that also okay because i am not expecting anything in return we are working this is how we start working with the mind and i believe that everyone needs to start doing some karma yoga in their lives if they are serious about wanting to go deeper spiritually we are not such advanced beings that we can just close our minds withdraw the senses apply it on one point connect in there and transcend pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi oh it doesn't happen only in theory for us we need to manage the mind and along with whatever we are doing set aside 10 minutes every day 15 minutes every day wherein you will do something which will not benefit you and you should also be very aware what is your approach at that point of time and in an ashram setting karma yoga is also choiceless it is not that oh i want to do this activity i want to do that activity no i will do whatever has been assigned to me you are the, all these practices hit the ego hit the mind and slowly and slowly the training takes place i have preconceptions oh no it should be done this way oh no this is right that is wrong etc 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 no we have to break all of that we do not have to be a zombie but given the scope we have been provided we have to do it with perfection with accuracy quickly correctly fast and then move away and when you do this then at night if you sit for 5 minutes trying to observe your mind you will find over a period of time that this 10 minutes 15 minutes is the best investment we can ever make in our life because that is the easiest way of befriending the mind now after we have understood the concept of karma yoga then comes the concept of seva very subtle difference as far as i understand
karma yog consecrated towards guru or the ishta devata or divine is seva you visualize you think that it is god who is in front of you you are seeing a patient imagine that it is god to whom you are seeing or your guru is in front of you what is the attitude that you will have what is the reverence that you will have how alert will you be when you are doing it for your guru or for your ishta devata it is with the same reverence and same awareness attachment not attachment but uh, intensity that we have to do it and then consecrate it to them and walk away that is seva because then that reaches the lord and that is bhakti in action we have been studying the narad bhakti sutras and if you closely analyze you will find that the path of bhakti brings in all the components and without much effort everything starts happening but the beginning point is reaching out to others selflessly and that is the reason why swami shivanand ji in his eightfold path of yoga started with serve it's not easy it's very difficult our expectations come in our ambitions come in our hopes come in our attachments come in and they pop up at the least expected point but that is how we can observe ourselves and we can work on ourselves that is the importance in sanskrit the definition of bhakti the dhatu bhaj sevayam is mentioned it is not bhaj pujayam many times we say oh i am i am doing bhakti i am devoted to the lord no the technical meaning starts with bhaj sevayam and when you start with that everything spontaneously starts coming in in the same manner as what we had spoken earlier if we call the president then the president's team ensures that the roads are correct the electricity is there and all amenities and facilities are provided if you decide to do it you have to do everything on your own which is not in our ability that is the important point if you want to connect there you have to use this method and when you use this method then the divine grace flows in and removes all the vikaras there was a query in the beginning why is bhakti considered to be the best actually we cannot say one path is better than the other in the same way as you have a range of five medicines which medicine is better ha huh. very difficult to say if i have diarrhea then the anti diarrheal medicine is better if i have got blood pressure then the anti blood pressure medicine is better if i have got infection then the antibiotic is better so now if you say what is better the anti hypertensive the anti diarrheal or the antibiotic no depending on my condition each of it is equally important and better in the same way all paths are good excellent 
However, in Kali Yuga, the quality of our mind is such that we are very fickle. And this fickleness does not allow us to go deeper within. Very, very difficult. That is the reason why Bhakti has been prescribed. Because looking at the patient, the medicine is prescribed. Looking at the condition of our mind, Bhakti has been prescribed. So therefore, let us not get into this uh, non-useful comparison. Let that be for those people who are armchair discussioners. If we want to make a shift in our life, start. And you will see that all the aspects come in. We will have to, we are not so proficient that we can even master bhakti. Far from it. So therefore, we do a little bit of bhakti. We do a little bit of karma yoga. We do a little bit of yoga practices. We do a little bit of yogic living. You do a little bit of practice of Jnana Yoga and by attacking the problem from multiple directions slowly and slowly all of them together can have a synergistic effect improving the efficacy and ability to manage the mind. Ultimately there is only one thing which is needed to manage the mind and we have all to work over it. Once you start working over it, then when you are going into Bhakti, those of us who have studied the Narad Bhakti Sutras would remember that if you look at specific aspects of Bhakti, you cannot distinguish between Bhakti and yogic practices. You have to refrain the mind. You have to streamline the mind. Oh, that is the practices of Pratyahar. You have to maintain awareness. You have to maintain Yama and Niyama. Everything comes in. You have to reach out and Loke Vivahara Heyaha has to be maintained. You know, all these aspects they encompass everything. And therefore, it is very essential that we start wherever we are able to and bring in small bits, a little bit of bhakti, a little bit of karma yoga, a little bit of practices, yogic practices, a little bit of the practices of Jnana Yoga, Shravan, Manan, Niti, Dhyasan. We do all of this a little bit a little bit in a coordinated manner. Then they have a synergistic effect. And that is what we need to do if we hope to manage the mind. We are in Dipavali. Dipavali is the celebration of homecoming of Sri Ram. Maryada Purushottam Sri Ram. He who destroyed the ten headed devil called Ravana. The five Karmendriyas and five Jnanendriyas are the ten heads. And when they are connected to the nectar in the Nabhi, signifying attachments, then you cut off the head and it still cut, keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. The ego keeps coming up. To destroy the ego, the attachment has to be burnt out. 
असंग शस्त्रेण दृढेन चित्वा दॅट इज व्हॉट वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग पीपल डोंट रिअलाइज द सिग्निफिकन्स ऑफ दीपावली अफकोर्स दीपावली हॅज गॉट मच मोर बट फॉर अस वाईल वी आर लुकिंग ॲट माइंड मॅनेजमेंट इट इज व्हेरी इसेन्शियल टू अंडरस्टँड वाय इज दीपावली सो इम्पॉर्टंट दीपावली इज दॅट मोमेंट वेअर द ॲक्नॉलेजमेंट ऑफ मास्टरिंग द माइंड हॅज टेकन प्लेस श्री राम हॅड लेफ्ट अयोध्या अँड नाव वेन ही इज बॅक he has mastered this biggest enemy the biggest terrorist of all times is the mind which mind the untrained mind the fickle mind the that mind which is rooted in attachments brings out the ego becomes a blockage for our further development and he has destroyed it that is why dipavali is so special and when we are working towards mind management that is what we need to keep in mind do not worry too much about self realization at least that is what my personal philosophy is i am in primary school there is no use me dreaming about doctorates thesis let me first focus on clearing the primary school exams then the secondary school exams then the high school and so on and so forth and without specific effort i will be able to reach that doctorate but if i sit down and start planning about the doctorate what will happen i will just be planning and no action i will still keep failing in the primary class and there's no hope that i can go to doctorate so if i want to go to doctorate mind uh, self realization then we first need to start with primary class that is what is important and that should be the take away we have on this auspicious day of aryom tatsat namo narayan jay namo narayan sir